Hello, this next reading is going to be the next chapter of your life, which is all of fall Libras. We're going to see what cards turn over for you. I did get everybody's classic favorite, which is romance and love. I don't know who the maker is, however, but we're going to do an on-camera shuffle for Libra's next chapter, please. Highest angels, white light frequency, and spirit himself. What do you want to say to the beautiful Libra? One is popping out. It does say heartbreak, which is the three of swords, like energy. Uh, we have a heart here that's actually very beautiful, like super ornate, has a lot of decorations all over it. It says, heartbreak is a part of the human experience. This too shall pass. Okay, let's get some flippers. What else? And that's very important because as you heal your heart, usually that's when somebody enters a very special person, maybe a friendship for some of you. We got closure. There's a lot of like heartbreak closure cards. If you guys are noticing a door here that's been closed, this is kind of like the world. If we were to ground it to tarot, it says, not all connections are meant to be except the closure now. All right, we're gonna get some clarifiers for this. Absolutely a closing of a chapter. For those of you that are watching, we have toxic relationships can drain your energy and self-worth. Be aware. Okay, so be aware who whoever re-enters your life at this time. Even if it is a friendship, be careful who you let in. Also, you know, the more people you let in, I heard this in a movie the other day. I think it was to all the boys I've loved before. <laughs> Funny movie. It said, um, the more people you let in, the more that you allow to uh, control your life or control your emotions. And I felt like when she said that in the movie, it was rather poignant because she's so young, um, so full of wisdom. Let's see what else your new chapter has to say. Okay, an apology with some pink roses, a beautiful like model there in the apology card. Never underestimate the power of a heartfelt apology. You don't even need one basically for your own healing, but maybe this person in the energy today does want to apologize. We saw the Page of Cups last night which is interesting because she's here again today uh we do have passion and i saw this this morning they're around cherry blossoms they're just about to meet there it says keep the flame of passion within you alive okay for those of you that are on the way of giving up i am right there with you supporting you it's the heartbeat of love so we have a lot of like apology okay my helper card was the six of swords this morning this is the only tarot card i got or oracle and it says releasing purifying and cleansing at this time so a lot of you could be cleansing your spirit meditating a lot more and doing releasing practices one more card please for the new chapter new chapter for my beautiful libra's boundaries love me challenge your boundaries protect them Okay, so just remember what you've just gone through. If you've re recently released a person, just note that even if they do come back in the future, remember why you had to set up boundaries in the first place. Bottom of the deck is the X healing from past heartbreak takes time. Be patient with yourself. I feel like the fall is going to be challenging because we get into like really wintry weather very cold it keeps us inside and so do your best to take care of yourself at this time and going forward we're going to have a lot of healing over heartbreak readings and i don't know why this is the first energy to pop out long distance is at the bottom of the deck i'm not sure why this wants to show itself but there's always a reason when you do a reading on the split we have temperance sagittarius to the four of pentacles I see here somebody wants to make peace with you. Four of Pentacles and Temperance is usually that. It doesn't equal an apology, but it's showing that somebody is holding on to your energy, Libras. Or maybe perhaps you've continued to hold on to them in some way. Um, there's not a problem with that. The only thing is how long you hold on. Okay, so highest advice for this. Libra's next chapter, and I'm sorry for that beginning. I don't know why it had to be broken in that way. Queen of Cups, Cancerian. Someone's psychic abilities has allowed them to heal. Um, you're super gifted. Maybe some people in your family are now telling you that. There is also like, um, if you have a sister here and they've recently reached out to you, Libras, I do believe that the connection has become stronger or a female in your family. What is this Queen of Cups? Why is their emotions showing up in the reading, please? Can I see the Queen of Cups? One is coming out or two. Okay, I touched two. 
the Empress and the Death card. The dying of a relationship with an Empress, um, how fruitful that you were actually offering yourself overall in the relationship. I wanted to be careful how I worded that. There is, and if it's masculine or feminine, you know what I see here, there's a lot of remembering over somebody that's truly gracious. I feel like you're humble. She's holding her belly there in the Empress card, but it's almost like somebody's reminiscing on you right now. Can I get a confirming card on that? Can I get a, con thank you. One dropped in front of me, the Fool card. Somebody feels like your new journey is going to open up opportunities for you. There could be a little bit of envy here, okay? Because you're you're definitely giving vibes that you're moving on in the Fool card, which is Aries. I don't know if you were in love with an Aries prior, Libras, or there was someone here that had Aries energy, but they're also showing up in the reading. I'm feeling them as a zodiac sign. So for some of you in your new chapter, you're going off and taking a leap. This could even be in business for some of you. Thank you very much. We have the Eight of Cups. One more, please. Somebody's walking away and the King of Wands. You're potentially going to a very attractive fire sign. Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, very heavy. Fire signs. Or you're walking to a Scorpio who's new. That's very specific for somebody. Knight of Cups on my split to the Queen of Wands. These are our two today. In the next chapter, a lot of you are working on, maybe you're reading a self-help book is what I'm picking up here also. And I do see that the Knight of Cups is going to be a new person. Okay, this Knight of Cups, let's clarify. Eight of Wands still at the bottom of the deck, which is messages. Um... I do believe there's a communication here from the past and there's also an incoming communication with that eight of wands. Can I see this new person? Three cards for the new person. Next chapter, they could be a Torreño, which we're showing up here with six of pentacles. They will be very reciprocal and take care of you. I'm even hearing the take care of part here as I pull. Six of Pentacles, can I see that for this beautiful Queen of Wands? She's very attractive. She's resourceful. Some of you have a lot of great new ideas coming up. King of Cups, you could be looking really, really beautiful right now too. Because <laughs> I noticed she's like staring directly in your eyes. Look at that. With the Queen of Wands. Leo, a very compassionate person who's going to hear you out. They will not do the same things that your last partner did, especially if you felt... Okay, brace yourselves, but I'm getting the word ignored. So if you felt ignored by somebody, this King of Cups is going to listen and hear you. They might even call you more on the telephone rather than text you, Libras. This person's going to be more on a human level wanting to hear you. Vocalization is what I'm getting. What is this new person, what do they do primarily for their occupation? Okay, so there's travel. Knight of Wands, they could travel a lot or they're invited to be, I don't know why I'm getting a speaker too. Maybe they speak at conventions. Maybe they speak at um, uh, meetings and gatherings. Maybe they use Zoom. Also, the Knight of Wands is a traveler and they move fast. They could also commute a lot. The horse is indicative of also being like very much seeking new planes. So they could be a jack of all trades and have their hand in different things. This is Sagittarius energy lots of fire for you guys returning in your readings lately pay attention today to that as well because the fire sign cards are coming out king of wands and queen of wands all right what's the outcome for the new chapter give me one card for health for health the five of pentacles getting out of scarcity you will solve something dealing with your finances libras if there's a question of that there's an upcoming business idea you're drawn to go somewhere, maybe for education, and there's a split here. The Hanged Man, there could be a Pisces that's very pivotal in this change. Nine of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck, and you're getting out of scarcity with the Five of Pentacles. That's showing that if you are feeling left out in the cold or someone is, this breaks through in the fall. Okay, we have one card sticking out. I do have to get it. Seven of Pentacles. There's a new investment here brewing in the fall, especially your birthday. Seven of Pentacles is the card of the day. Um, 
I almost didn't pick it too from the tarot deck right now. I almost like chose not to, but it was peeking out a little too much. Seven of Pentacles is yesterday's reading of investments. Okay, so if you guys watch that, I spoke about new investments and ideas coming to you. Give it a couple of days. This is also an idea box that's outside of your typical, outside of what you usually choose. So it could even be a love interest coming in. There could be somebody already looking at you. Let me get a card for this. And I'm just going to move real quickly to a new deck. What's the Seven of Pentacles for our beautiful Libra? Please show me for the next chapter, maybe around their birthday. Nine of Cups, complete contentment. It's new love. It's a love story. It's showing up as the Ace of Cups, which is a new beginning. I also feel like this person could have darker features is what I'm getting here. You do like, you do meet someone that offers contentment. I mentioned he's a King of Cups. Can I get one more card on that, please? There's a content Nine of Cups, Seven of Cups as well. They could be a fire sign here with the Ten of Wands. Both of you could be coming out of burdens right now and examine, uh, examining your opportunities in the Seven of Cups. Page of Swords, there's a person from the past feeling left out in the cold. Wheel of Fortune. So I'm going to end it there until I return. Excuse me there for my, my blouse, my goodness. And the Page of Swords to the Five of Pentacles. There's an outside environmental person who feels left out. And these are the cards... You don't want to see in a first reading, you know, the Five of Pentacles is not how you want to roll out the day, but the Page of Swords concludes. So I will see you guys after I go back to the tarot room. Um, I just have to do a couple things here today on Labor Day, but I will be back as usual. Thank you for joining me.